What is happening everyone? I am very excited because this is an unboxing video I have been waiting to make for nearly four years. A little bit of background about myself. I'm a graduate of the Second City in Chicago, Illinois, in conjunction with Columbia College Chicago, where I obtained a bachelor's degree in comedy, writing, and performance. My prime goal was always to be to do stuff in the entertainment industry. I've been doing YouTube here since 2008. I've always tried to just be an entertainer. So right out of college, I was trying to dip my toes into acting and entertaining and whatever I could to further that along. Well, in January of 2021, my good friend Aaron from Flashback Weekend notified me of a casting call by local Chicago filmmaker John Borowski, whose films have been world-renowned and even featured in Entertainment Weekly's best serial killer documentaries of all time uh, for a John Wayne Gacy film he was doing. So I applied to be a victim, and uh, I got the part, which was really exciting. I filmed my scenes in February 2021 for the John Wayne Gacy murders, Life and Death in Chicago, which began life as a film. There was so much content and so much to work with that it grew into being an eight episode miniseries. So I was called back in August of 2023 to be even more victims and to do some stunt work for it. Um, John Borowski's a great guy. He's got a very vast filmography. If you are a true crime fan, I highly recommend his work to you. And this is his magnum opus. It's his most polished series. It's his only series because the other ones have all been like documentary films. And uh, I'm just outside of doing extras work on Chicago Med, Chicago PD, this is my first real thing that I did that my name is attached to. Borowski also has a book called Hunting a Predator, which was compiled during the production of this series, and it is scans of all the original police and legal documents of the Gacy case, which is really cool. It's a wonderful companion piece for this documentary series. But after being in production for five years, and after over three and a half years of me being involved, Look what we're holding today, ladies and gentlemen. Let's dig in. We have a box within the box and two blue, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> the day has come where I'm actually holding a physical copy of the John Wayne Gacy murders in my hand. I ordered two of them. We have an advertisement for Monsters in the Mirror, Reflections of the Studies on Serial Murder by Stephen J. Gianangelo, who is featured in all eight episodes of the documentary. Karen Conti, John Wayne Gacy's death row attorney, Killing Time, her new book. On John Wayne, or John Wayne, John Borowski's other films, and our limited edition photo print number 55 of 250, autographed by people from the Gacy case. Rick Staten, his art dealer, Mike Albrecht, one of the arresting officers, Karen Conti, his death row attorney, and Marty Zielinski, his photographer. like oh yeah I've got two bodies in the trunk wait until I get the beer out of the trunk and they would laugh about it but and maybe he did at that time who knows maybe he was going to throw a body into the river but this was important too I wanted to show the rope turning and the the impact it had on the neck and uh Ken Pataki, the actor who plays uh, in these reenactments, did a great job. Uh, he, his character is called the Drifter because he's in numerous 
shots and scenes as uh, a Gacy victim. But I wanted him to be sort of like the ghost of all the victims. So he symbolizes all the victims. It was very important to me to, to uh, talk about the victims and, you know, have their memory. And that's why I created these still screens with the, uh, the victim's photo, the date they disappeared, their age, and the information on them. So that's my way of re remembering the victims.